I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is June 21st, 2018. And in this video, I'm going to be printing out something I've been waiting for a while to print out, just because I've had so many cool things to print out. And that's this digital sundial. So I'm going to go download this guy and print it out and see how well it works. Okay, so here it is. But one thing you probably want to check out the remix is because the original here, which looks really cool, kind of requires you to have this little jar, which is fine, but I um, put some weight in it. But there are some other remixes that have prints out, prints that uh, have little stands. So I'm going to go for that. Uh, so let me go here to the thing files here first and start to download some of this. I've never done this one before, so it should be, oh, it's an OpenSCAD. Oh, cool. That's really cool. A lot of geometry to get that guy done. Uh, but I'm just going to download the STL files. And this is interesting. I was looking at this earlier because I hadn't looked at this before, the actual files. Um, there's a northern and a southern. That makes sense depending on what side of the planet you're on, how it has to line up, I guess. So there's no on southern. So I'm in the northern. So let me see. Northern STL, northern half, net fabbed. Uh, let's go for. I don't know what the difference is. I guess there must be some different versions. But let's go for the Naman. Maybe it's a 3D printer that I'm unaware of because I'm an honest some days. So there's that part. And then we want the download these other parts. Top part and a connector. Okay, cool. So there's all our parts. I'm only mainly concerned about the main one. Those are the three main parts. Let me see. Northern. Drop that guy in. Oh, look how fancy that is. Oh, that's big. Big and fancy. Let me see what the other parts are. The other parts, I think, are just support parts. Let me go drop that in here. Oh, yep, there's that guy for the jar and that. And that. And that guy. Oh. Top part. Okay, so I'll print those out separately. It shouldn't be a big deal. But let me get this one going first. Uh, and I, I was reading up some things that says probably really good to, it says so detailed there, is rather than go 0.2, go 0.1. So I'm going to go 0.1. Uh, I'll give it a standard infill. I don't think it matters too much. But I'll go 20% and generate this guy. Dun, dun, dun. A little complex, huh? Oh, still thinking. There we go. Look at that. It's going to take four hours, supposedly. Oh, I've got supports. Who do I need supports? I don't know. I was doing some of the supports earlier. Oh, it doesn't like that, does it? Ah, that could be why you get different designs. Mine. Yes, because I should be... Okay, there's a problem with that design. See at the bottom here? There we go. That's probably why it's different designs. So look at the bottom here. Go to the bottom. There should be something here. It's not finding it for some reason. There we go. Let me go back. Wipe that out. I don't want that. So that is the Nomon. So let me try the other one, NetFab. Let me download the NetFab. Maybe that will work better for me. I hope. Otherwise, I got to go figure something out. I hope it'll work in the slicer. Okay, same thing. Point one, standard, and now no support.
Okay, let's see what the first layer looks like. Ah, there we go. Okay, so there's a reason why there's two. Now looking at that, I think that should 3D print just fine. I don't think I need supports. 13 hours. Ooh, boy. It's going to be a long one. Okay, so let me save the G-code on that guy. And I'll just put the downloads for it now. I'll organize this in a second. Um, but then before I do that, next thing I want to do is go to the remixes real quick. Because there's all these really cool remixes. Uh, mainly for an extra stand. So there's a bunch of extra little stands here. So I found this one here that looks nice. And so there we go. And so I don't want to put a jar on there. Let's just 3D print the whole thing, right? So I'll download the sundial base legs. And then I'll make a render of that. And we'll see how long this whole thing takes. This might take a couple of days. Well, not a couple of days. But I like to video with when it's light out. Uh, get some natural sunlight in here. So it might take a while to print all these parts out. But then I want to print it out. I want to go test it and see how well this works. Because it just looks really cool. So with that, let's get to printing. Okay, I finally got it printed out. So before I get into it, let me go over the numbers. So there's a few numbers to show because there's actually four different pieces I had to print out. So the first one and the most important one was the sundial itself. So I ran that at 50% speed because I was a little concerned with all the delicate lines in it. So I just wanted to be very careful with it. Um, that took 30 hours and 15 minutes to print. Uh, it took 25.4 cents with electricity. It weighs 0.114 kilograms, so based on $20 for a kilogram, kilogram of filament, a roll, it's $2.28 just for the filament alone. So altogether, that part cost $2.53 to print. Now the next part, the arc, uh, took 2 hours and 56 minutes to print, took 2.6 cents worth of electricity, and it weighs 0 0.036 kilograms. So total cost for that is 75 cents. Now the top part, took two hours and 30 minutes to print, took two cents with electricity, and it weighs uh, 0 0.03 kilograms. And you add that all together, you get 62 cents to print that part out. Um, then there's the base, the base that I found, which is rather big, uh, but I like it. It took seven hours and 19 minutes to print. It took uh, 6.1 cents with electricity, and it weighs 0 0.104 kilograms. And so that comes out to $2.14 to print. So if you add all those parts together, it took $6.04 to print the whole thing out, which is not bad. Um, but also you add to that, you need a little bit of hardware. It would have been really cool if there were some 3D printed parts to, you know, as bolts, to bolt it all together, but not there. And I haven't done anything with bolts. So I'm not aware of what's out there. Um, and I've got plenty of bolts in my house. I could have found something, but instead I went to the hardware store so I could show you exactly what I bought. So I went to Lowe's. And this is in metrics, and so he has a suggestion on what to buy, but I don't have many metrics around here at Lowe's. So what I did buy is quarter-inch stuff. So it is quarter-inch. Let's see if I can read this very well. Quarter-inch. Quarter-inch dash 20 by 2 inches. So I got that. So it's got two bolts in there and some screws for the longer bolt. And then I also got a bunch of washers that worked pretty well. Let's see if we can... So some washers, quarter inch washers, nothing too special about them. And those those work pretty well. And then let's see, last piece, we got these quarter inch 20 by one inch. And so those work really well. The only issue I had was one part was, and I'll show it here in a second, is uh, the, bolt, the, uh, the nut wouldn't quite fit in one part of it. The rest of it fit, but in, in the actual, um, I'll show it. I had to kind of sand it down a little bit, and then I actually ended up hammering it in. So it's kind of really nice and stuck in there, but mm, figure out what you can do. But here it is, and this thing is just really, really awesome. I, I just think it's really cool. And so let me see if I can show you. So in here, let's see, right there, right there, right there, I had to kind of pound that nut in there. So I'm not sure of a better solution or just grinding that down, but I got that. I got all the pieces in there, got it all hooked up. I uh, got the nuts in there. So it's all together, working, looking beautiful. And so it just looks really cool. Now, I thought, based on the print and everything, um, I had a feeling I'd take it out and do a time lapse and that we'd be okay-ish. But um, I'll show the time lapse here in a second. I was really impressed. This actually is really accurate. So as far as I can tell, I don't think I placed it perfectly. Uh, but I think you got to place this end. I think perfectly south 
and then and then adjust it based on it on whatnot until you get the right angle and you actually can see the light going um and it just it was amazing it worked really well now this is pla so it's not really suited for outdoor long term um but i'm not going to leave this outdoor long term this is really cool to as a demo um it's just really cool so with that uh let me show you the time lapse okay so this is really cool so i, I got out there and i put a little clock out there uh but of course it got too hot and so the lcd got covered so i figured out how to put some ice around it uh, but the time, I'm just impressed. It goes in 20 minute increments. So 11, 1120, 1140, etc. And I'm sure I didn't line it up perfectly right, but it kept time really well throughout the day. So there it is at noon. You can see it's noon and 1220. It's about 1220. And so it just, there's 1240 right there. It just nailed it. It did an awesome job. I mean, this, this is really, really impressive. Um, and this is one of the more fun prints I've had to print out because other people get to see it and get to see how cool this is. My wife thought it was great. Um, I showed a coworker it at, um, you know, I usually, I work remotely and I showed somebody at work it and he was like, oh, print me one of those out and bring it, bring it to the office because that's cool. And it's one of those things that you can really show it off. Um, oh, and we had some clouds here. So the cloud cover kind of messed up a little bit of time there. But for the most part, this thing just nailed it and this is really cool to show off on a sunny day you can show your neighbors stick it out there see the time go have some lunch eat some hot dogs come back and see that you know how it advances because it's it's just really cool the person designed this awesome i mean it's brilliant so this is one of the i don't know definitely one of the top five prints to print out to show other people what you can do with a 3d printer and i don't know it's just sweet it's really sweet so anyway Go print a sundial out. It's really cool. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we were doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.